Now, in Amber's court testimony regarding past allegations, you said, my sister Jessica, she was too young to actually make allegations, but I guess my biological father's friend had done something to her at a really young age, and my sister Brittany had made allegations about some other boy, uh, or originally we thought she was saying Steve, and then ended up telling us later that it was some boy in middle school. See that? I'm just reading I, from the I court have, documents. That I have no idea. I do remember talking to her about Steve, but I don't know about that part. Honestly, as a child, we all probably said a lot of stuff that was like a cry for help in so many ways because we were raised in such an abusive, dysfunctional environment. So I remember going to the hospital with her and having that feeling and slight little thoughts about, not thoughts, memories about Steve. And that was where I mentioned it, but it was so foggy still that that's why I didn't press it further because I was like, you know what, I don't have vivid memories. I do now, but I didn't back then. Now, regarding Steve being naked um, in an email um, from Amber on 5-23-2000, Steve noted she indicated that Steve walked into the room naked. Quote, I remember him walking into the room naked and I don't remember anything else. Two months later in a police report, Steve noted again that Amber remembered Steve coming in her room naked but then Steve noted a month later, Amber denied seeing Steve completely naked, but had seen his privates while wearing small, tight shorts. So the point is that you said naked, naked, not naked. And you see that as inconsistency. Yes, sir. Correct? What do you remember? I remember one night him coming into the room and I may have said, I don't know if he was naked. I don't really remember what happened. It, like I said, it, some things are very, very vivid and other things are kind of foggy. And I remember him coming in the room and I don't really remember what happened. And later my brother wrote in a journal, he remembers Steve coming into our room, my room and getting me and taking me somewhere. We well, understand those are powerful words because you, you said twice that he came in naked and then in a police report said well he wasn't naked he had on tight shorts and exposed himself and there's those are, many different instances throughout the years of things that he did well but these were all talking about the same thing and you're a child i get I'm, i get it but you understand to a, a finder of fact that's important Somebody walking in naked versus having shorts on is a distinct difference. That's your point. She was 16 when she made that statement. Mm -hmm. That's your point. Yes, sir. Naked, naked, not naked. Yes, sir. It's either naked or you're not. Which was it? Do you remember? Like I said, I don't remember specifically. I just remember the image of him coming in the room when it was dark. And I probably said, I think he was naked. Because in fairness, I'm covering your points here. You're saying the pattern of false allegations. I've covered one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven with you. Inconsistencies in the police reports. First, they're thinking they're talking about you. It turns out to be some boy at school. Uh, then we get into uh, whether you're coming in the room naked or not. Those are inconsistencies, no doubt about it. That's what you're pointing to. Yes, sir. Among other things. Among other things.